Hello everyone. My name is Jalaman Naiman and uh, I am going to teach you about the CAD modeling of the very famous uh, NREL 5 megawatt wind turbine geometry. Okay, so uh, there is a long history of uh, this wind turbine. This was like uh, uh, the from the Defer University uh, 6 megawatt wind turbine and uh, then the NREL National Renewable Energy Laboratory from USA decided to make it like a baseline design uh, for the like uh, large power producing wind turbine designs. So this, this turbine actually now 5 megawatt turbine as a reference turbine uh, for the bigger offshore wind turbines. So this is a research wind turbine and it truly gives the idea to the researchers, to developers that how to design uh, the big turbines, okay? So uh, you can like uh, Jason Jockman and uh, S. Butterfield. So these were the authors who actually transformed the six megawatt into the five megawatt wind turbine. So if you go through this uh, whole uh, report here, you will see uh, how this uh, happened, okay? How this happened? And uh, if you go, so this is like a structural properties, okay, different radius locations. And uh, here is uh, like uh, its uh, aerodynamic properties. Now, please keep this thing in mind that uh, this data is not enough for making the CAD model. So you have to go and uh, make a lot of research, okay? And uh, one more thing is that, for example, uh, if you take a look on the the arrow files that, that were used in the actually the, the making of the geometry. So the biggest question that was like a very confusing to me and to everybody that where should the center be placed? Now keep this thing in mind that the, the maximum uh, the thickness we have is uh, around 40%. Okay. So DU40 indicates 40%, 35% thickness. So uh, and traditionally, the, the moment center is placed at the chord length is equal to 0.25 or 25%, okay? But after going through the report, I found that the center, they are placing in the Sandia's report at the 0.4 and uh, at the, from the Jason Jonkman report is a 0.375, but I went with a 0.4. So maybe in the, coming videos in the coming courses, maybe I will explain uh, what would be the difference of these two things. But right now, up till now, uh, the geometry which I made is with the 0.4, okay? So that you can clearly see in this report. Uh, this tells you about the arrow center, okay? The arrow center is actually this one. Arrow center, it is saying the 0.125. So what is happening actually is that the, the geometry that we are using, its uh, default value is the 0.25. The software they are using for the definition of their geometry and structural analysis is assuming that the, uh, the center of the arrow file is placed at 25% location, 0.25. So arrow center 1.125 means that what they are doing is that they are adding this value to the, to the assumed default value so this becomes at the 0.375, okay? So in the uh, Jensen Jokman, it's a 0.375, but if you go through the Sandia's report, it's actually is the 0.4, it's a 0.4. So let me show you. Okay, they are copying the same properties, I guess, this one. So they are copying the same properties, okay? And uh, this is around 40.5%, uh, okay? So 35 is not exactly the 35, but it's 30 point, 35.09, because they are the modified aerofiles actually. So then they modified 
actually not modified but uh, they have written uh, like uh, at the different uh, location so that the geometry can be built easily uh, this table is not meant for the geometry construction in the CAD molding or for CFD purposes so they try to come up with interpolation and they 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 give us the like uh, more values here here you, can see, here you can see that the x offset is a 0 0.05 0 0.5 for the circular sections and it's a 0.4 for the arrow files okay and between the station number like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and this one 10.25 meter uh, the value of the center or like a uh, pitch axis would be between the 0.5 and 0.4 that can be we can find out through the with, with the help of the interpolation so uh, let me show you the CAD model as well this is the CAD model that I made okay this is what we are going to make in this uh, uh, course okay and uh, then this is the like a whole thing like uh, all the arrow files you can get from there and I will also be providing you these arrow files in exactly this format like for example the du40 so you can see that we have like uh, these all values okay so the total there are the 399 values around 400 values are there for this for each and every arrow file okay so we have the like uh, uh, du arrow files one two three four five and one is the naka uh, 64 series arrow file that is on the uh, outer side means that on the uh, uh, on the tip side of the wind turbine that you can see very clearly here for example uh, first the two cylinders are there and then the transition region is there then then is the du 40 du 35 du 30 uh, du25 du21 and then naka 64 series so naka 64 s 17 is actually is the modified form of the naka 64 618 and similarly du 417 is the du 99 w 405 lm lm is actually uh, is with the reduced trailing edge thickness okay so these arrow files are available here all of them you will get these ones okay so now uh, the only thing is important is that uh, we are not going to make the like a hub and these these things they may be required when you are uh, going to simulate the wind turbine in the uh, for example in the atmospheric uh, boundary layer okay uh, but for simple analysis you just need a rotor and maybe the hub section okay so uh, these are the copied from these data is copied from the from the uh, Jason Jokman data report I, I have shown you earlier they are exactly same values and this is the definition of the arrow center so uh, this was like a table if you are going to uh, like follow the Jason this is the table but I as I told you this table is not enough actually so uh, then what I did is that actually I come up with uh, some like a uh, novel idea uh, this model was available in the like uh, as example for 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 the uh, cubelet cases so I opened that case and I have just uh, have went through the uh, blade design and you can see they are uh, almost they are confirming they are confirming so uh, what I try to do is that I actually uh, modified the table I got from the uh, Sandia and uh, I got the values here where I don't, didn't have the values I, I found the values either from report or, or through the interpolation okay linear interpolation is very easy to do actually so here I didn't have the any chord length value so at the station where the radius is 19.95 uh, so that was like uh, through the interpolation similarly here uh, pitch axis and location was not given so I interpolated data and same is the case with the chord length so this data we are going to use actually okay so this data will be used and uh, one more thing is that the last arrow file that is at the uh, 63 meters there was no data was given so I copied the data from the 
uh, cubular data where angle is also being shown as a zero and the coordinate is a point uh, 961. So this was copied from there. Otherwise the point 106 and the 1.419 they are already available over here. You can see. Okay. Point 106 and 1.419. So they are exactly from the uh, uh, Jason Jokman data and uh, one more reference that I want to show you is actually is from the Cho Raymond and uh, he, this is a PhD thesis uh, by the Cho and uh, this was I think the maybe the first person who actually got the data from different references through like not the uh, some uh, like uh, random uh, uh, resources they are from the original different university and then from the NREL so he come up with uh, like a geometry which is shown here okay a single single smooth blade okay so but if you want to get the data you have to like uh, contact him uh, as I don't find the, any data in the like appendix. In the appendix, you can see the uh, what data he has used for the making the geometry. Like for example, uh, blade station, span, chord, twist, and the pitch axis. So pitch axis you also get here. And on the arrow five section is the point three seven seven five. This is the same as the uh, used by the uh, the original reference like uh, from the Jason Jonkman. And there's no uh, Y offset because this is not the pre-stressed, uh, pre-bended blade. So Y location is zero. And geometry file is there. So th this file is not available in the, in the report. Maybe you can contact him and he will be able to actually provide you the all of these arrow file sections. Okay. So this was like a, a complete introduction of the geometry that we are going to make. So uh, I wanted to clarify all the confusions you might have because when I uh, have gone through the geometry making process uh, for, not, for the NREL uh, like uh, phase 6 geometry it was very clear. Geometry was given directly in the report and I followed that exactly. But here this is a little bit confusing. So that's why I went through everything and I come up with uh, this reference, these all things and they are over here. Okay, so you don't need to go anywhere actually. This is the all we have and this is all we are going to use for making this CAD model.